Hey guys, today we are unboxing and setting up this all-in-one security camera solution including four cameras and a digital recorder from Andy. So first off, let's set some expectations. This is a beginner security camera system for someone who wants a cost-effective and a low-effort system installed in their home or business. It's a non-technical solution with little configuration required, unlike some of the other systems I've been showing on this channel. Everything you need is included in the box and I'll post a link on my blog in the description below where I picked up this system. It costs $250 American but sometimes goes on sale for $200 which is not a bad price for an all-in-one solution with some special features. So let me show you what you get. You have four cameras each supporting 20 meters of night vision. These are 2 megapixel 1080N AHD cameras. The 1080N means that the width of the image is 1080 pixels and the AHD is analog high definition. Since these are not IP cameras, that removes some level of technical complexity for some. In addition to them working as cameras, three of them have special features. There is also a DVR or a digital video recorder included in the box with a 1TB hard drive pre-installed in the kit. This is where you will record and play back your camera's footage. This one holds about one week of footage and older footage will automatically be deleted and replaced by the newer footage. And he does offer a couple of different variations of this system. They have some with a hard drive and some without and some that are wireless. Let's have a quick look inside the box. So the system does come with the user manual. I recommend reviewing that before you get started. So the system is quite compact. I really like the size of it. Let's have a look at the functions on the back. So starting off, we have four video BNC connectors to hook up the cameras. This is for video only. The A port is for hooking up a speaker if you want to listen to the inputs from the audio in connections. The speakers and wires and mics are not included in this kit, but it's nice to have that option. Next, we have an HDMI port and a VGA port. These are for the video out for viewing the live feed and footage. This is followed by audio in. This is in case that you want to have four separate mics located at each of the cameras so that you can record the audio. Next you have a LAN port for remote access. We'll look at this in a separate video to give it the time it deserves, but just be aware that internet is not required to use this setup. This is followed by two USB ports if you want to add a mouse or keyboard. Now next you have this RS-485 port. This is normally used for controlling a PTZ camera. And lastly, you have the DC 12 volt, which is for powering this device. And on the front of the system, you have an IR receiver and three LED lights indicating power, alarm, and recording. With the DVR, they also send a bunch of connectors. So you have a mouse, you have your power supply, and you have a little remote control. Let's pop open the camera box and see what's inside. So the first camera here is a regular camera with no additional features. It has night vision of course and it does do motion detection through the DVR and it can be used indoors or out. I like how the lens is segregated from the IR night vision lights so that helps avoid any glare that may be produced across the lens. The second camera here has a PIR sensor which detects heat such as body heat or an animal walking by. You won't be able to see this in the image through the DVR of course, but it should work as a trigger for the alarm. This one is IP66 waterproof and also can be used indoors or out. This third camera here has a 90 decibel siren to scare off intruders and to alert you of one. This of course is an indoor camera only as water may penetrate through the alarm area. And this last camera has a gas detector to warn you of any smoke or natural gas. This one, of course, is also indoors only as water may get in through the sensor area. But let's have a look and see what's inside of this box for additional accessories. Here you have a power supply for powering the cameras. And you have a set of wires for each of the cameras. So where do we install this? You're limited to 60 feet from the DVR for each camera, but if you pick the best centralized location, you will maximize the reach for each camera. For me, installing the wiring is the most challenging part of any setup. Take advantage of drop ceilings, or the space where the carpet meets the wall around the baseboard, or around your eaves or vinyl siding outside. Besides in a home, I can see these cameras installed in service bays or small restaurants. 
So you can have like three cameras covering the cash area and two in the back room and the wires can even run up the wall if they're out of reach. So let's quickly get this set up, make sure everything is working okay before I install it. So let's start off by plugging in each of the cameras to their extension cords with the BNC connection and power cord. Now we'll plug each of those into the back of the DVR and their power supplies. So I'm going to plug in each of these cables just randomly, it doesn't matter where they get plugged in. And now using the splitter I'll plug in each of the power sources. And then that plugs in to one of the adapters, it doesn't matter which one, both of the adapters are exactly the same for the DVR and the cameras. And then I'll plug in the power supply to the DVR itself. I'll also be using an HDMI cable here to hook this up to a monitor. So let's get everything powered up. Oh, I almost forgot about the mouse. So let's get that plugged in. So first of all, let's get the cameras plugged in and then the DVR. So let's go through the setup process of the NVR. We start off with a great looking logo splash screen and then the wizard starts. I'm going to select all the defaults here, choose a password. I'm not going online at the moment, so we'll skip over the network config pages. Lastly, I see my hard drive and I can format it here if I want to, but it's already formatted and ready to go. Back on the live feed page, we can access the menu with a right click of the mouse. Let's look at the alarms. Motion detection is the standard motion detection through the camera feed and smart alarm is the PIR and smoke detection. By default the cameras are continuously recording but to create a schedule you right click to go to the menu, go to record and make sure that your schedule is selected. Click on the period to set the record times. All times and days are currently orange meaning we are always recording. Now we're going to look at playback and see how that is set up. So there's a big playback button here and you can see your calendar and the different types of alarms. And I've been recording for a little bit here and you can see some red lines in here. So to get a more of a close up view of that, I'm going to go to one hour. You see all the cameras playing at once. If you double click on the camera, you can just see the footage from one camera. So that's a pretty good setup here. I like that. It's easy to use. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. I'm actually pretty impressed here for, with the quality of uh, the, the, the playback setup here. So I'm pretty impressed with the setup. The DVR and the cameras work really well. The footage looks good. But let's take this outdoors and uh, set it up in a real scenario and get some real footage. So I'm going to set mine up here in the garage with two cameras inside and two out. I recommend testing your camera's locations first prior to drilling any holes to make sure that you're happy with the location and the point of view for each of the cameras. Let's check out the daytime footage for the various locations that I have temporarily set up the cameras. It doesn't look too bad for a $200 to $250 beginner system and the lenses seem to be about a 2.8 millimeter lens. And for comparison, all on the same screen, here is the inside view and of course the outside view. I have turned off the IR lights on my other cameras and lights on my house so it's pitch black outdoors. Now let's have a closer look at the siren, PIR sensor and gas detection. The siren is pretty straightforward. It can be armed and disarmed via the icon in the upper right hand corner. The PIR sensor doesn't seem to work at all. When I put my finger on the sensor, it should fire the alarm. The alarm isn't set off until I put my finger over the lens, which is identical to the regular motion detection, not the smart feature. And lastly, gas detection. My first test is with regular smoke. The camera picks it up right away. Now let's try the exhaust from my truck. Again, within a second, the alarm is triggered. Lastly, let's try natural gas. Again, within a second, the camera picks up the gas and triggers the alarm. That's pretty impressive. 
All right, guys, that was super easy to set up and not a bad quality system given the Austin price. Definitely met my expectations. Someone without technical knowledge could easily set this up in their home, and I can see it coming in handy at a small business like a body shop or a restaurant. I'll put a link to my blog at newpeoplework.com in the description below where you could check out more information on this product. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.